Hello, my name is Eli and my story is the voices of Wichita. There once was a village called Wichita at the edge of the woods. It wasn't called Wichita for nothing. There were witches galore living there. Everyone was afraid to go into the forest because anyone who ever dared go in never came out. One day, me and my best friend Harry were playing a game of dare. You had to think of the worst dare you could, then the other person had to do it or you would win. Harry dared me first. I dare you to go into the woods and bring back a witch's head, said Harry. Normally I beat Harriet Dare, but going into the woods was crazy. So are you going to do it or not? asked Harry. Okay, okay, I'll do it, I yelled. Harry gaped at me. Really? he asked. I guess, I sighed. Well, if you're going to do it, I'm going with you, said Harry. Harry was a good friend who made her plan to dress as witches, sneak into the woods, and kill the head witch. That night, when everyone was sleeping, Harry and I grabbed our gear and met at the edge of the woods. We put on our costumes and crept in. We saw lots of witches, but we didn't see one that we thought was the head witch. But then, all of a sudden, the ugliest witch of all flew into the crowd of witches. She was disgusting. She was the nastiest color of green and had the biggest wart you ever saw on her nose. We were for sure she was the head witch. I climbed a tree and Harry motioned for the head witch to come over for a message. Harry whispered to her, this is the last night of your ghastly tricks. Before the witch could say a word, I leaped out of the tree and cut her head off. All of a sudden, the rest of the witches fell down in agony and died. It turns out that without the head witch, the others couldn't survive. Harry and I were heroes. We were rewarded with a lifetime supply of Hershey's chocolate bars. The mayor decided to drop the tea from Wichita since there are no more witches living in Wichita. Hooray! The end.